Alright guys, what's going on? We've got the second War of Season 20 here, and today, for Loki's going to be facing LGLAT, um, Legion Latina. So, I'm going to go ahead and show their map. This is going to be a super short war for me. I have three fights, and then I get to, um, like, clean up a fight. So, looking around, um, their defense looks, looks pretty good. Like, all of it... Um, makes sense to me. Um, some placement that I haven't seen before, like Taskmaster. Um, on the uh, heavy hitter node, that's smart. Um, and they do have a couple of dupes, but all of the dupes are there for good reason and make sense. So, like, yeah. Looks good to me. Um, and all of this I've seen before, like I see a couple of things, but for the most part, I don't think that they were necessarily going for, um, for like stacking the map a bunch. I think they just did a couple of, uh, tactical dupes, which is probably the best way to go. It's a little bit less of a gamble than just stacking your map a bunch. So, okay, I'm going to be starting off on path one and actually I'm going to pause it right here because you can see the fight. Um, the first fight here didn't record, but it's just a Gladiator Hulk, and it has Vigorous Assault, which is, um, where the defender is unblockable when they're regenerating, and, um, Arc Overload, so they're going to be regenerating, uh, pretty frequently on a timer, and I did Quake that fight, and then the next fight, um, is Annihilus, and since I'm not going to get to show the nodes, um, he has Masochism. So, yeah, it cut off there in the middle, not sure why, um, but I, I do know why. It's because I ran out of space on my phone. So, um, this Annihilus, like I said, it has masochism, so, um, sometimes the, uh, the stuns won't stick if I don't have a concussion on him, um, when the stun's coming, but it's not a huge deal. Um, this is a pretty straightforward fight, and yeah, this should be the last fight that I'm using Quake for. There were a couple times where I accidentally um, parried, and there was one time that I let off my heavy, but that was intentional, just to get some space because um, Annihilus can be super aggressive. So here I'm just going to scoot up and I'm going to be on path 3 in section 2. And this is the node with that, um, I, again I don't, I'm not going to try to pronounce it, but basically whenever the defender has an armor and you attack them you're going to get a bleed on yourself. But you'll see here, um, Iron Man Infinity War, I'm not sure how great this placement is because his armors are passive. So, um, me hitting him is never going to remove an armor, and it's never going to apply a bleed to me. And he's also not a stubborn defender, he's not defensive. So this is just going to be a really straightforward, literally nothing to it, Iron Man Infinity War fight with Omega Red. So the strategy here is to just block as much as possible, bait out heavies, and counter with your own heavy. And I'll do that a lot against Iron Man Infinity War, where I will hit into his block if I get the opportunity. And a lot of times he'll counter with a light attack, and I can parry him. So, it worked out there. It doesn't always work out, but it usually does. Now he's in his last 15%, so he's going to be passively gaining power. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Fight's over, so super, super easy. And then you'll see here in a second, there was a little bit of confusion about who was going to take um, the boss. So there's a thing boss, and then there's a Corrigan stunning reflection here. And originally it was assigned to somebody else, and then it was assigned to me, and then it was reassigned to the original person. And um, I actually got to go in and clean up this thing boss. You can see that um, he's already pretty much dead. He's at like 21%. It's a rank three, six star. Um, but I think that it's relatively low sig, so there's only 80,000 health left Health left on this thing boss. I'm just going to go in, get a bait out a heavy attack, counter with my own heavy. And 
yeah, that's pretty much it. You'll see how fast 80,000 health uh, goes away f when you're using a 6-star rank 3 Omega Red. So... He literally didn't even throw a, a single special attack, and that was 80,000 health down the drain. So, yeah, we did end up um, winning this war. Great job to both sides. They did really well. Again, I don't think, I think that with the soft reset of the, uh, of the war ratings, some people got really favorable matchups, um, last season, and we really didn't. We, um, were pretty evenly matched for the most part last season, with a couple of exceptions. And I think that other people got these types of matchups in the beginning of last season, where, um, the opponent is strong, they're just not um, quite on the top end of Masters, which is fine. So I do think that it'll take probably another season for the war ratings to even out a little bit. Um, but yeah, not a, not a huge deal. These guys did really, really well. So I've also got a couple of crystals to open since that war video was so short. This is a dual class 5-star crystal. It's the Tech and Cosmic one. And... What I'm looking for here is Hyperion. I do not have a Hyperion, and I would really, really like one. I know how powerful he is, and I'd like to get him and awaken him. But we're going to go ahead and get a Corvus. So my Corvus is Max Sig. He was actually my second ever Max Sig 5-star. Um, I sigged him up for Prestige when I joined Savage Squad because my Prestige was under 10,000 when they let me join, so I was way, way, way below the average. So I'm going to open up this Max Sig Crystal as well. Um, don't really, I'm, I'm expecting 6-star shards here, but I'm going for Immortal Iron Fist as well. And I actually got a Science Awakening gem, so that's pretty cool. Um, if you saw my um, Abyss video, um, I did just use one on Human Torch, so now I have that back, and I have two again. So this is going to be the Mutant and Skill Crystal. I'd like to awaken my Domino from here, if possible. I also wouldn't mind a Storm Pyramid X. But I'm going to get a, I guess, I think that's a first time awakening. Yes, that's a first time awakening on Nightcrawler. So I'm never mad about first time awakenings, that's okay. And then we're going to have one more crystal, and it's going to be a six star. Um, my luck from calves has been pretty good lately, but my basic six star luck has not been um, ever since I pulled Omega a couple times after completing Act 6. So we're really just hoping for a dupe on somebody good. I would love to dupe Corvus. He's at rank 3 unduped right now. Um, more SIGs on Omega Red. I need one more dupe on him. But it's going to be SIG 40 on my Deadpool X-Force. So that sucks. He's someone that you want to get once. You don't really want to get again. Um, the first dupe is, is okay. But after that, it's just kind of annoying. Um, hopefully he gets buffed at some point. He really has nothing to him at all. And people use him for a synergy so much that it would be really nice to, uh, it would be really nice if he got a buff. So anyway guys, that's all I've got. This was a short one. My next war video that I've already got recorded is super long. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you next time.